Hey guys, my name is Adorba Srinivas and I'm currently a grade 11 student located in Ontario, Canada. And if you're wondering why I look so young, it's because I'm actually born in 2007. You know, I know what you're thinking, a 2007 born in grade 11? Yeah, you know how brown parents are, always want their children to be the best, so that's why I kind of started a little early. But anyways, back to the main point of the video. Today I'm going to be talking about which universities I want to get into and how I'm going to get into them. So my top four universities are CMU or Carnegie Mellon University, University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, UC Berkeley, as well as Stanford. And you may ask, what program do I want to get into? And the answer to that, I want to do computer science, just like every other brown boy out there. But what makes me different? Well, for the most part, I'm a pretty average guy. You know, I like going out with my friends, I like going on walks, I love nature. And some things I'm really passionate about is cricket. You know, I I'm brown, so of course it's in my genes, right? So I love playing cricket. I play for a team currently, the season's currently going on, and ha I'm having a lot of fun. And another sport I like to do is Taekwondo, you know, kicking, punching, you know, really gets my muscles and legs worked up, right? And I'm currently a second degree black belt, and this actually helped a lot with my self-esteem growing up, um, because, you know, I had some confidence in myself, and I started Taekwondo when I was four, and I've been doing it for over 10 years now. Lastly, I'm talking about one of the most influential factors that played a huge part in my life, chess. Some people call me the brown Hikaru Nakamura, but anyways, I started playing chess when I was around four years old, right? And I love this game ever since I touched it. My dad taught me when I was a little boy <laughs> and I joined a chess club. And from there, I started being coaches. Uh, I played tournaments almost every weekend, grinding and grinding and grinding. And in middle school and elementary school, uh, I was I was not the most social kid, right? So I didn't have many friends. And because of this, I would practice chess almost every day, memorizing, practicing, just grinding, right? And it came to the point where I was able to represent Team Canada at the World Youth Chess Championships for many years. This allowed me to travel to new places, meet new people, and overall just a great experience. You know, the most, my favorite part of this entire experience was, was food. You guys, I love food, okay? And being able to travel to these countries and try new things, oh, well, it was just, it was just so so fun okay but anyways that's a little bit about what i do outside of school but now back to my academics currently i'm sitting at about 4.0 gpa and i'm actually taking my sat exam next week and i've been studying for months taking practice tests reading books so hopefully that goes well and i'm aiming for a 1600 and my friends a lot of my friends took it recently and they got really good scores so i'm hoping that i can get perfect if that's possible and on top of that, uh, taking the test in Canada, right? So we actually have a digitalized SAT and that would probably make it a little bit easier for me. And, but yeah, and now on to what I'm actually going to do to prepare and what I can do to get into these universities. So during the summer, I'm planning to start a coding project, not only to help me in the future, but also it's something I'm really passionate about and I really enjoy doing, right? So that's something I'm do. And on top of that, I'm actually going to Chess Nationals uh, in July. So I'm hoping that goes well. I need to start studying after my grade 11 exams are over, uh, start preparing for that. So I can't take that lightly, right? And that's just a little snippet into my life. Now I'm recording these videos because I want to not only keep myself accountable for the goals I set in the near future, but also to share my experience with all of you guys. Thank you guys for watching all the way through and feel free to check out our channel where me and my friends will be posting our journey to getting into our dream schools. Thanks and bye.